What's up my dudes, Valk here, and today I want to talk about a topic I used to talk about a lot, but I don't talk about much anymore, because I feel like people need to hear this. Um, and something that might or might not make people happy, I don't know, I don't care, but it's something I've come to the realization quite a while ago, and I feel like, like I said, uh, certain people need to hear this. Genshin's never going to have an endgame. Now... I'm not saying that to be negative to get you down. I'm saying that to be realistic because I've sat here and I've played this game and I really do like this game. Played this game for like two years now, right? I think it's almost two years. Um, I played it since day one. You can tell by the super low UID on my account. I have literally played this since the literal second it came out. Um, the second it came out, I fired it up, I got on, and I enjoyed the game. And I waited for about a year and a half for in-game before I just came to the realization. It's not coming. It's not going to happen. And the longer you hold on to the hope of that happening, just the more disappointed you're going to be. So, everybody just... People need to... Well, not everybody, but Genshin players as a whole need to come to a terms that it's not in Hoyo's vision. Uh, it seems like Hoyo wants to make an exploration story-driven game. And not really something for the people who actually grind up their characters and grind up their artifacts. They want you to play this game super casually. They don't want you grinding artifacts like crazy. It's shown because there's nothing... Let's say, for example, you C6R5 every single character in the game. You uh, spend all the money, you spend all the time, you get the best artifacts in the world. You have perfect crit values on everything. All Everything's good to go, right? Well, where are you going to use them? You can, most people can already beat Abyss with a pretty casual free-to-play team. Uh, most people can already do everything. So, spending all that money, spending all that time, we're going to use it. You're not. It's plain and simple. You're going to be doing the exact same stuff you always do. And it's going to make it so, you're just going to be like, why am I doing this? And that's the exact point, right? Is like, why are you doing that? So, there's not really any reason to uh, rush it. And just enjoy the game for what it is, which is, like I said, it's a story-based experience. If that's your cup of tea, if you enjoy the story-driven games, and this is definitely for you. Um, otherwise, if you're wanting in-game, the same it, Chief. I, what I recommend is the exact same thing I've recommended for quite a while, is that people use Genshin as more a side game. Uh, they play Genshin on the side, whereas... You know, just play literally anything else that you enjoy as a main game. Like for me, I really enjoy like DNF Duel. Multiverses just came out completely free to play. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a Smash like game. Free to play game. LeBron James is in it. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool game. Most people will enjoy it. Um, but yeah, there's lots of other games you can play out there. There's, I know I know, I want in game too, but it's, it's just not going to happen. Anyways, that's basically the video. That's the, your Doomer post of the day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think Endgame will come? And if so, why? Other than that, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.